Hello everybody, my name is Rukhsa Pridhi, finally yes, you heard a while ladies and gentlemen, my name is S3 Diox and in today's video you might be wondering about the title of this video. Yes, Ruby is getting one of the biggest nerfs in T3 Arena history, like ever. And how do I get my hands on this kind of info? Well, you'll be surprised since it was shared by T3 Arena developers themselves in a really tricky way. Personally, I didn't notice, however, thanks to one of my friends, my T3 Arena Discord server official one of course, fellow moderators told me about it and I was like, why not make it the main topic of today's video? Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a lot of stuff that are coming or might be coming in the upcoming patch, which is in 26 of uh, this month. So basically the new season. So if you guys don't want to miss anything related to 3 Arena, I'm still going to be sharing more about the upcoming stuff and maybe have fun and, you know, packages, opening and stuff like that. So there's a lot of fun coming. Okay, so make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to not miss anything related to 3 Arena. And according to YouTube statistics, all well, my friends people that watch my videos, actually subscribe so if you're not liking the video please consider subscribing it's free and it can always change your mind and with that being said sit back relax and enjoy the video so for those who are not aware in the previous patch where we got two new heroes which are judex and also hunter we also got nerfs for two heroes which are ruby and Johnny Jet. So for Ruby, the damage dealt by Balls of Fate, which are her main weapon, basically diminishes after 20 meters and deals only 30% damage after 40 meters. Now this was a kind of a decent hit for uh, you know uh, Ruby, because now she won't be able to deal damage for people that are long range, which is understandable in a way since she is a tank. However, Johnny Jet got a big kind of a hit because his main weapon and HP got reduced so it's a big kind of a nerf however it's incomparable to the current or the upcoming nerf that Ruby, Ruby is getting and I guess it's time to look into it now if you check the last video uploaded by T3 Arena you're gonna notice this Octopolis. Personally speaking, I'm happy and both sad. You see, uh, Ruby was the character that you were able to push other heroes with it. However, it was slightly OP. You see, the first skill was basically her shield. And normally it should be, but to be able to push enemies with your like main skill, it's kind of a little bit unfair, especially with the cooldown. So I think they tried like hiring the cooldown but she become useless so they made it like that so from now on the shields are not going to move forward it's sad but it is what it is however i think it, she would be good for holding positions now especially that her cooldown uh, basically is not big so it's good you know in a way and sad in a way <laughs> anyway moving to the other informations now if we look to the video this part is opponents opponents can sneak around and attack you from octopolis if there are three lanes now for those who didn't take notice or didn't understand what were this quick parts about is basically voice lines so if you look into it once more again you can hear the characters talk or uh, speak or give voices when basically they jam stuff like that so it's a good addition to the game and i hope that we they will add a voice like like an actual voice like like characters talking stuff maybe they are talking in the main menu the lobby so we don't know yet how advanced it is but no matter how advanced it is i will gladly accept it because personally i've been I'm anticipating something like this to come to the game, a voice lines, okay, so either way is gonna make a good addition to the game because the more the better, right? <laughs> anyway, the last thing that I want to talk about in this video is probably gonna be the new character. So most people say that her name is Archer, however personally I'm not sure about it, but it is something to anticipate, something to guess, I guess. <laughs> 
Uh, so she is using a bow and Sage and Archer. So that's why maybe they named her Archer. Either way, it's gonna be a good name for her, and she is using an Archer. Uh, it has passive stuff like that, but I think she has two ults, which is sad for some heroes. Either way, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for tuning in, and you know what? See you in the next video.